Right now, there is a fight to stop squatters across the city. State lawmakers working on a crackdown that aims to protect homeowners and their property. News Force Andrew Siff explains how this could work. They bought the house with money they'd saved. But Dr. Young Se Bay says she and her husband felt robbed because while they waited for renovation permits, someone broke in without permission and stayed there. Photos show they piled up bags of belongings and even grew marijuana plants. But when Bay called the police, the squatters said they lived here. It's really frustrating, stunned. Um, it's a really traumatic experience. Owning a home, that's the American dream. But some people have turned it into the American nightmare. State Senator John Liu has sponsored a new bill clarifying that one who enters onto a property or building without title, right, or permission and therefore is not subject to the same rights and protections of lawful tenants. Meanwhile, in the city council, another proposed change, instead of tenant protections for squatters, kicking in at 30 days, changing it to 180 days. Mayor Adams said protections were designed to prevent unfair evictions. There was a reason that squatter laws were put in place, and, you know, I think people are starting to exploit what some of those reasons are. And while it's unclear how widespread a problem this is, lawmakers and police say reports of squatting are on the rise. It's up to us in the legislature, I think, to periodically take a look at the laws, see where there are loopholes, and close them. For Dr. Bay, getting a court order to evict the squatters took seven months, all because the squatters had fake ID with their address. They claimed that they've been there since uh, the October uh, in 30 days after passing 30 days and they um, become legal residents under the current law. So we couldn't really kick them out. As for this home, now that the eviction has finally gone through, renovation has resumed and they're hoping to move in with family this fall. Reporting from Flushing, Andrew Siff. News 4 New York.